Well, good morning, good morning, guys. We are at the uh, fuel island here at the Husky. We just cleaned the lights and the mirrors and the side windows and uh, order so we can see something out of there. So now let's put her in gear and let's get out of here. Let's make our way over to Manitoba. Yeah. As you can see, it's still uh, dark out there, but uh, that's okay. Everybody all is pretty much sleeping right now, but I want to get there early in the morning and then uh, deliver my two loads there first thing in the morning. And then guess what? That allows me to go home and spend the day with my family. Yeah. It is quarter after four right now. That's AM. <laughs> Not PM. <laughs> yeah, we are leaving Dryden, Ontario. It is Monday, November 16th. And it's going to be a good day, I think. It looks like it's not really cold out there. I thought it was going to be colder, but it's not really cold out there, so. so yeah, so let's get over to Manitoba. Winnipeg, we're going to Winnipeg and deliver our loads. We got ourselves a cup of coffee here, so we're good to go. Let's put the hammer down. Alrighty guys, we delivered at our first delivery and then we went to our second delivery and uh, they're telling me that they're not going to get to unloading me for a few hours, so uh, guess what? I'm bobtailing home, yeah. I just figured it's not worth sitting there all day long just to get unloaded. Don't get paid by the hour, so I only get like 34 bucks for 35, uh, 30 dollars. I think I get for unloading. So uh, said for 30 bucks, I just bought till home, whatever, and I lose that 30 bucks, whatever. But that's okay. I'm not gonna. Just sit there for a couple of hours just for 30 bucks, you know. But that ain't gonna happen. No way. We're not gonna do that. So, since we are bobtailing now, we can pretty much go through town in Winnipeg. Traffic I guess we still have to. Uh, Keep an eye on the low bridges and stuff, but other than that, we just Bob Taylor home. But yeah, this is a rough stretch of road here in Winnipeg. Well, guys, we got back from doing our deliveries in Winnipeg and uh, yeah, I went over there to uh, Penner's yard and I was going to see if I could get my uh, new tires put on and my new rims and stuff like that, but. Uh, they told me to come back tomorrow, so I guess we're going to have to wait one more day before we can get our new tires and rims on, so, but anyways, uh, just figured I'd do a little video on that, you know, because uh, I know a lot of you have been waiting to see my new tires and rims and stuff like that, so. I guess we're going to have to wait one more day, eh? Well guys, we are still at home. My wife is going to order some uh, pizza for tonight and then uh, uh, it's because it's Monday I'm going to go play some beach volleyball here at the church here at our local church but uh, I had a uh, subscriber of mine that uh, gave me a request his name is Ike Reedy and he said his dad is in the hospital he fell and it sounds like he broke his hip or he injured his hip and he's going to be uh, going into surgery he said and he asked me to give his dad a, a shout out and I'm hoping I'm going to say this name right Spike Ready Spike Ready I think that's how you say that S P I K E and it's his dad their uh, Ike Ready's dad 
and uh, I just ask you guys to keep him in his prayers and hope for a speedy recovery and uh, get him healed up well so he can walk again. I can just assume that a hip injury is not a lot of fun. I can just assume that I've never been in that, so and uh, that must be painful for you. But anyways, guys, that's about all I got for today. I think I'm gonna close the video here, and then uh, we'll have our evening, and that way it gives me a chance to put the video together here and get it all uploaded to YouTube. So, with that being said. Have a good one and stick around for tomorrow. You're going to get to see the new rims and tires. Have a good one, everybody. It's time to get going. It's time to move on. Put this behind me. That day is going to come. I'm breaking the walls down